Come in, John. Don't put that on my desk. Okay, where's your bin? I don't know, it seems to have gone. Anyway, sit yourself down. Well, put it in your bin if you can find your bin. I don't know where it is. Just make sure you take it with you when you go, okay? I'll put it here. All right, just, just leave it there. Right, now, I've done the agenda for you. There it is. Great. Okay, now the top item is a complaint from Mr. Jones. Lateness? Which is a serious matter. When was I late? Is that the top item on the agenda? No, but it's quite important, isn't it? We'll get to that in a moment. I just want to discuss the complaint first, OK? I don't remember being late with you. Look, I want to cover the complaint first, OK? Then we'll get on to the other stuff, all right? What? I, 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 well, fine. Right. Fine, yeah. I spoke to Mr Jones and he told me you said some rather inappropriate things to him. Mr Jones? Yes, the customer you were dealing with yesterday. I don't remember. You don't remember? No. Well, let's see. He said that you pointed to a female customer and said to him, very nice. Oh, yeah, mm. Mr Jones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Is that true? Yeah, he came in. He had, um, you know, a bit of a twinkle, you know. So let me see. You think that one of our customers should want to discuss the looks of another customer with you. He just um, had a bit of a, you know, like a twinkle. You know, some customers come in and you just think, you know, that they want a bit of an entertainment, you know. And he came in, he, he looked at the woman and just thought he had a, you know, he was up for it. He mentioned having dinner with his daughter and you actually questioned whether she was his daughter. Well, I didn't question whether she was actually his daughter. What I was saying is that, you know, he had come in because the item had been tampered with, so I wondered whether it was him or his daughter. I, mean, I wasn't trying to suggest what you're saying that I'm suggesting. He thought you were making an innuendo. Well, I wasn't making an innuendo, was I? You know she's only 15 years old. I know what you're saying. He also said that he was driving to Newcastle. And you said, ah, oh, Newcastle, the binge capital of the world. Hmm. Have you been? That's not the point. Uh, yeah, well, it, it, even if it's not binge capital of the world, it's, you know, binge capital of... of Europe. OK, fine. Um, let's, let's do lateness. Excellent, good. OK, so far away. On five occasions, over a period of two weeks, you have been laid back from lunch by between five and fifteen minutes. Well, do you know, I can't find anything to eat round here. Everyone else seems to manage. I don't know, you know, I go out there and it's like, um, you know, the tide's gone out, everything's gone, you know, can't get anything. Order ahead. The sandwich man will then be prepared. Yeah, good idea. Haven't thought that. So is that everything? I mean, I don't think we're progressing very far. We have you. We have honestly. I mean, you know, first of all, well, I, I, I didn't know that I had a complaint, and you know, I was doing sort of borderline inappropriate behaviour, which I mean, that's that's useful. I can I can use that. Um, the sandwich man. I mean, that's good, isn't it? I could take that away. There's an action point there. So is that, is that everything? Take the banana skin. So, uh, so what happened to it, the bin? Do you know where my bin is? No. Just go. Thanks, you. It's been good.